What up guys, long time, no video. I think this is the first time I made a video with this phone actually. I got a new phone like two months ago and I do not care for it. The Samsung something, it's supposed to be the newest Samsung phone. It doesn't have an auxiliary port for audio. How silly is that? Instead, I you have to use a Bluetooth device, which is what I do, I Bluetooth pretty much everything nowadays. Or if I need to hardwire it, I need to get an adapter that plugs into my charging port for, to run my auxiliary, to listen to music and radio and whatever. Uh, and also the charging port stopped working after like two weeks, unless the cord is held in there like just right. But it does have a cordless charging option and that's mostly how I keep my phone going is by cordless charger. But uh, sometime whenever I feel like it, I'll be calling the phone insurance people and get the charging port issue fixed. I'd much rather charge it by cord because it does charge a lot quicker. I can be at like 15% corded, it'll be charged in like an hour, hour and 20 minutes, I think. A little bit less if I shut my phone off. So it can charge a lot. And then wireless is like two hours, two and a half. So yeah, so I um, was just on YouTube, realized I hadn't made a video in a while, and then also realized when thinking about my channel that uh, uh, people that you guys had left comments on previous videos recently asking for an update and you know hope we, we hear from you soon um so i'm still driving a concrete truck let me move that light's been annoying me okay uh actually first and foremost welcome to my hot tub i got it for free off a co-worker's uncle uh i cannot afford anything else free right now if that makes sense uh this thing has turned into a little bit of a money pit but at least now it's at a point where it functions. It functions not quite at 100% accuracy, but it works good enough that now I'm starting to get satisfied with my overall investment. Um, so anyway, uh, still driving a concrete mixer. That hasn't changed. I recently hit a year, so that came with a raise and a week of paid vacation time. Uh, since I started truck driving, I only hit a, a week of paid time off uh, once before, that was with Interstate uh, back in the day. I still miss Interstate. I, yeah. But that, they got sold and yeah. They don't exist anymore. But yeah, I bounced around quite a bit. And in the trucking world, you, you don't get a week of paid time off, generally speaking, till a year. So pretty proud of that. I'll be taking that time probably around Christmas. Uh, as of right now, I'm taking time off to go to California. Just I think I'm only taking like five days off. It'll be a short trip. Uh, but I'm thinking I'm, I'll be adjusting it here pretty soon. Because I have a friend who was over the road. Uh, he was a big influencer in me be going over the road. And I haven't seen him in about three years. And uh, he's going local in Boise, Idaho. Uh, he's also engaged. And he asked me... Uh, to be best man at his wedding, and uh, just me, just a me thing. I feel like I'd have a really hard time standing up next to someone when they get married, not having seen them in years and having never met their significant other. So I think I'm around Christmas. I'm taking some extra time off to hang out with them, even just for a couple of days. Nothing, you know, extravagant. And then because of that, I may as well drive about two hours uh, south. Uh, real southeast to Pocatello, Idaho, where I have a few friends from a previous life adventure. And then if I'm going to be in Pocatello, I may as well drive another hour and a half south to Salt Lake City, Utah, and see my friends there. So, that I have there. So, yeah, Pocatello is a friend I met in a hot tub. Ironically enough, we were both on vacation, hit it off, we've stayed in touch. There was a stretch where I worked for him for a little while. I went up to Idaho and lived in his basement and work for him. It, it was a lot of fun. And then my friends in Utah, they are my old next door neighbors from California. So I may as well take that time off and go see all of them, is kind of what I'm thinking. And then go to California. Although I'd probably go to Salt Lake, Pocatello, Boise, California. But uh, that's what's uh, going on with me, sort of. Uh, I will go ahead and say, just because it has been a big thing uh, in my life, and it's not exactly a secret, because, you know, government records and stuff. Um, I had a roommate 
it was purely a roommate. There was no like friendship, you know, friendship that turned into a roommate or whatever. It was truly doing a favor for uh, my old next door neighbors. They have a son slash brother. It was a mother daughter combination living next to me at my old house. And uh, he was about to be released on parole shortly after I bought the house. And his history is drugs, nothing violent, just really poor choices. And he, uh, I went ahead and said, sure, essentially as a favor to his mom and sister for being the best first time neighbors anyone could ask for once moving out on their own. Um, and the short version is after about three and a half uh, months of freedom, of a normal life, uh, the police came over and said they got a tip about suspicious activity at my house, asked if they could look around. I uh, signed a sheet of paper saying, sure, go ahead. Uh, they looked around and they found enough suspicious stuff that they kept it, kept tabs on my roommate and they said they would be busting him in all likelihood within the next week. And, uh, yeah, they saw that I had cameras. So I gave them a quick slam bam, thank you ma'am tour of the thing on my phone so they could view the cameras. And I let them do, uh, check that out. And there was a lot of stuff on the cameras. Uh, of my roommate doing illegal activities on my property in my house, uh, breaking a couple, like I didn't give him any rules. He had three rules and he basically broke two or three on camera. So needless to say, whenever he gets out of jail, uh, which will be from what I understand, it'll be a couple years, but he hasn't been sentenced yet. Uh, he will not be staying at my house again. Uh, he, he has no business to come over here again. And if he comes over here again, he'll be trespassing and, that's all there is to, to that so uh his mom has been you know cool with it uh the situation uh she came over i can't i was in california when he got uh arrested i came back on thursday she came over that day kind of went over you know what stuff was his and to come take what stuff i could throw away that's what i want her over there for is if you, you want to throw anything away let's get in the trash can today because the trash gets picked up the following day and which is fine but then on saturday she came into her and her roommate came and they took everything of his his vehicle and his possessions except for a couple things that had just been in the house for so long i it just overlooked them and she didn't know that they were his or you know i, I don't know but i'll be getting those things started just a couple things uh to her pretty soon so it, yeah that's basically what's been going on with me get having a roommate uh you know it's a classic no good deed goes unpunished i guess um i, I don't know so you know i did what i could try to give the dude you know another chance he's been from what i understand in and out of halfway houses and uh rehab facilities a couple of times he has a chance not in any of those he has a chance at freedom and he you know he blew it uh, at least with me, if he can sweet talk someone else and give him another chance whenever he gets out, yeah, God bless him if he can do it. But he's not getting any recommendation or anything from me. Uh, that's that's for sure. But things are still good. Yeah, I'm still on good terms uh, with his mom and with his sister. So, uh, that's that's good. Um, but that's pretty much it. Just working a lot, you know, being a homeowner. There's always another project, always something to uh, throw money at. Uh, I bought, I got a pretty decent sized yard. Let me show you guys. Um, and push mowing it takes a really long time. I've I push mowed it once. I'd really not rather do that on a regular basis. But I, I did buy a riding mower before I moved to the house. I bought it used on Facebook. And by the way, Facebook has deleted my profile. That's two profiles within the last calendar year, Facebook and Instagram. So right now I'm just kind of taking a break. I've signed on to my old, an old account that I had forgotten that I had had. They have somehow tied to my new email address. I don't know how that happened to delete it, but unfortunately it takes a month to delete. So maybe, you know, over New Year's I'll start, you know, maybe creating, trying to create one again, you know, with that email address and start over. Maybe, I, I don't know. Um, I had started some. Oh yes, yeah, so I bought uh, that lawnmower, 
and it's surfing pretty good this season except it burn it goes through uh, some oil uh, you can see it in the exhaust it's burning and I have to add oil every time I use it it's low on uh, the dipstick so I'm kind of at a point where I can sell it and just and, and you know get whatever I can for it and get it I'd probably buy a brand new zero turn I'm eyeing a Toro if any of you guys are big into riding lawnmowers uh, let me know I'm looking into the, uh, the Toro it's a 50 inch zero turn time cut or something I want to say it's EX or whatever the, the, their first numbers are uh, 50 75 I believe and I found a place in Alabama that they give me 0% financing for 48 months. So, uh, if I make the decision, that's who I'm going with. And through this place down in Alabama, uh, Alabama's my final answer. I think I just said Arizona. I don't know. Uh, it's in Alabama, final answer. It's like $500 cheaper than the same lawnmower in other places. So, I'm safely assuming this is kind of their winter sale price to get old lawnmowers moved to make way for winter equipment and then new models of lawnmowers next spring. Uh, so, so yeah, but that's a uh, investment uh, coming up here pretty soon. Uh, the other option is keep the riding lawnmower I currently have and wait for it to break and then pay money to get it hauled off or donated or whatever. A lot of places around here want a donation or straight up charge to take an old lawnmower that does not run away. So I'm thinking I'd kind of rather get rid of it now and get what I can for it. Uh, I got a bagger kit for it that my roommate tried to install. He couldn't get it done. And so I'll probably try to sell that with it. And whatever money I get for it, that'll be my down payment on the new mower. So I'll have lower monthly payments. Uh, that's just kind of what's in my head right now. I know I'm kind of thinking out loud, but if I had to make a decision in a second, that's what I'm doing. Uh, but that's it. I'm just working hard. Yeah, I'm putting in some long, crazy hours at work. Uh, yeah, getting, you know, not, I take it back, it's not like that long. It was, you know, 70 hours is what I do in a normal week trucking over the road. And I do 70 hours, and I'm like, all right, let's go. And like, I'm still good to go. Now I'm working between like 55 and 62, three ish. And I am just drained. Um, but I can't complain. It pays the bills, pays for the cat's food and vet bills. Ben cut his paw the, uh, about a month ago, and that was an expensive vet visit for just a little cut. That was, it was actually a pretty deep cut. It was, a sm it was small, but it was deep. Hi, Ben. You want to say hi to everybody? Yeah, Ben has no fear. Uh, Jerry's behind me somewhere, probably, in the dark. But, uh... You okay? You're brave to be up here. You don't like water. If you fall in, you're on YouTube. But yeah, that's what's going on with me. Just, you know, roommate situation. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, a little weird being in, on, the, in the, on the other side of the country. Well, law enforcement is going through my ha whole house. It, it was almost kind of fun, though, to see, like, what did they you know mess with but you know put it back but they messed it up just like a little bit that, that was a little fun game but they i will say this they did not leave anything unturned in my house uh i would very safe just based on a few things i found here and there that they had messed with uh they did not leave a stone unturned that, that's for darn sure uh, like i almost wouldn't be surprised if they un if they took out my dresser drawers and i pulled it things out of them in stacks and looked uh, i would not be surprised but yeah but just working roommate situation uh, i'll probably get a new roommate at the end of the year because parents and my brother coming out here for thanksgiving then i'm going back to california for christmas and yeah taking my little california trip and don't know if i told you guys but i'll probably do that a two-week trip with stops in salt lake city pocatello idaho and uh boise idaho Okay, this is take two, so I don't remember what I said in the first video versus what I've told you guys uh, right now. Uh, so yeah, then I'll probably start, you know, for, available first of the year type of a deal. 
and go from there. I'd much rather not get a new roommate and then give them, you know, two weeks alone when it's someone that I don't know. So, uh, that's just me, but also kind of ho just hoping that, you know, something will come up, like a friend of a friend situation, because I don't have Facebook right now, so I'd have to find someone probably on, like, Craigslist, which, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, there's also a college here, Middle Tennessee State University, just up the road. Um, I should, yeah, just, you know, being in a college town, I, I'm, again, I'm thinking out loud right now just some sort of connection to the university where I can say, hey, I got a room for rent. And then if they have students say, hey, I need a place to stay, you know, they play matchmaker. I, I, I don't know. So I'd have to inquire. Anyway, uh, enough rambling and thinking out loud. I'm let you guys go. I'm going to enjoy a few more minutes of the hot tub, even though I've already been in here a little longer than the experts say you're supposed to be in here. Don't tell them. Uh, but uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, I'm thinking probably on a slow day this winter when we only have like one or two loads all day and I take one of them since I want to put in hours. I'll try. I, I told you guys this. I feel like my last couple videos uh, kind of do like what it takes driving a ready mix truck like just one, one load because there's a lot to do. And it's a lot, of small, a lot of small things and it's kind of one of those things if you do everything right every time you have a good day. If you skip one of those steps you could have a horrible day. Uh but, but there's a lot more to it, I feel like, than what people think. So I would like to educate you guys. You know, I, I have a load so I can take my time, film, show you guys what's going on. So, um, that's, that's it. Hope you guys are being safe. And uh, I'll talk to you guys whenever I feel like making a video again. Lord knows. Uh, I don't know when that will be. But if I get, I'll make this easy for you guys. If I can get ten comments about something that makes sense... You like a real English phrase, comment, whatever, not just gibberish. I'll start doing videos more often. Don't know what more often is, whether it be like weekly updates, bi-weekly updates, something like that. Maybe twice a week updates, something more normal. Ten comments. Make it happen, guys. See you soon. Or talk to you soon. Later. Whatever I'm trying to say. It's nighttime.